Hi everybody. Thanks for finding my channel, safetymom.com. My name is Allison Jacobson and my mission in life is to keep women happy, safe, and sane. And all of that also means healthy. If you haven't found my website, it's safetymom.com. You can also find me on Facebook where I've been doing a lot of videos with experts on sleep, on nutrition, on meditation, on everything you can think about. What I wanted to talk to you today is about the fear that is overwhelming so many of us. And on my site, you can find my ebook, Shut the Fear Up, because that is what we have to do. Now look, I get it. This is a really scary time, right? We're scared about our finances. We're scared about our health. We're scared about our security. We don't know what is coming up. But if we allow that fear to consume us, we're never gonna move forward. The thing I want you to remember is, this is not something that is being done to you. God is not punishing you. This is something that is happening to all of us and we will all get through it together. But at some point, you got to shut that fear down. Now, listen, I was there too. 11 years ago, I was going through a horrible divorce. I had no money. When I tell you no money, I declared bankruptcy, zero money. And there were nights where literally I would be curled up in a ball in my bed with this knot in my stomach, freaking out and scared to death over what I was going to do, how I was going to support my family. But one morning I woke up and I love that scene from Moonstruck where Cher slaps Nicolas Cage and says, snap out of it. Well, that's what I realized that morning. I had to find a way to snap out of it and not allow the fear to overcome me. Now it's going to be there, right? There's going to be a small port that that is there, but you can't allow it to consume you. You've got to start thinking about the next steps forward. And that's where law of attraction comes in. So when I was in my deepest, darkest time, I started studying so many motivational experts, so many healers, um, meditation experts, people like that. And the number one I came across was Wayne Dyer. If you guys have not read Wayne Dyer, there's resources for him on my um, safetymom.com website, but find him because he has written so many books about law of attraction, visualizing, and manifesting your dreams. Now, for those of you who don't know what law of attraction is, let me explain it to you. This is not just positive thinking, okay? This is focusing on what you really want and allowing the other things to go to the side. Think about it like a giant salad bar, right? So there are things at the salad bar that you probably don't like. Like me, I hate lima beans. So I'm never going to pick lima beans if they're even at a salad bar. In fact, I don't even know if they're there. But somebody else might very well like them. But I'm going to focus and choose the things that I want. I'm going to focus on the broccoli. I'm going to focus on all of those things that I want. That's what law of attraction is about, okay? It is focusing on the things that you want to manifest into your life. Now, there's going to be some distractions along the way, but it's about you staying focused. How am I going to get from point A to point B? Coming up with that plan. And part of that is creating a vision board. So vision board sounds like it's very crafty. And let me tell you, I am not a crafty person. I am not a DIY person. I created my vision board on the back of a manila envelope. And what that is, is finding images that can help you see and manifest what you want. So one of the things I want more than anything is peace. When I was going through my divorce, it was so chaotic. I just wanted peace. And the visual for me of peace is the ocean. I lived in LA for 10 years. And to this day, when I'm visiting California and I come over the mountains and I see the Pacific Ocean, I feel my blood pressure going down. It's, it's incredible. So for me, a big image of the ocean, even just the sound of it when I see it, but when I see the ocean, it just calms me and gives me peace. 
The other image I wanted was for what I want to do, which is eventually do retreats for women. So I have an image of woods with a women sitting around a campfire. That is what I am going to manifest. Now it's not here right now, but here's the important part of visualizing and manifesting. You have to get to the point where you feel it now, where you are actually living what that is. So 11 years ago when I was broke and I was scared to death and I couldn't get out of bed and finally I did, I was in the shower one morning. I do some of my best thinking in the shower. And I started feeling like I had the money I needed. I started feeling that calm of being secure financially and not worrying about paying the bills and not worry about paying the mortgage. I felt it because if you don't feel it and live it, it's just a daydream. That's not manifesting. What are the things that you want? Is it a home? When I got remarried, my husband has primary progressive MS. I needed to find a home that was handicap accessible, that had space for my mom who lives with us, that had space for the three kids, that was in a safe neighborhood where my son with intellectual disabilities could walk around. I started having putting up pictures on my vision board of what exactly this house needed to have and needed to look like. And if I, I can't begin to explain to you how I found that house. It was through a friend. Everybody thought it was crazy. My husband was like, we'll never get that house. And I said, yeah, we will. And we are living in this house right now. People who know me, clients who've worked with me in my coaching know this happens. They even say, if Allison manifests it, it will come. You can do the same thing. Start thinking, start journaling. What does your perfect day look like? Where do you want to be? We're all scared financially right now. We're worried about our jobs. I get it. What is that plan B? Where are you supposed to be going energy wise? Are you supposed to be doing something else with your life right now? Is there something you could be doing volunteering that can lead you to the next path? I never thought I would do life coaching. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. But after my divorce, after I went through a lot of tragedy, that is where I came to. And this is what I love more than anything. So what is that path? Where do you need to be? Where are you going right now? Don't fight the tide, ride the wave. I'm not saying there's not going to be fear, but don't allow it to grip you. You control it and start relaxing, breathing, start cutting out those pictures, clipping those pictures off the internet, finding those pictures, create that vision board, put it over your wall. One of the things I did too, I actually wrote the dollar figure I needed to make to support my family and I hit it. Within a year, I was making that money that I had written down. This works, I am telling you. So go forward, create that vision board, check out my website for more blogs. I'm gonna have the resources, look for Wayne Dyer. I'm gonna post that too on the chat in the comments below on this video. I'll post a link, I'll post some ideas about creating a vision board, but start that this weekend. Bye now.